Working is honor. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, say prophet, take action. Allah will see your actions and well, his messengers and believers. And then you will be returned to him who knows what is seen and the unseen. And he will tell you what you have been doing. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad, his last messenger. May Allah peace and blessing be upon him, companion and household and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Islam highly appreciates work, considering it the path of progress and ad advancement. When we're reviewing the glorious Quran, one finds that it clearly tells us call for work and action that achieves development in our universe and brings about welfare for the whole world. The Almighty Allah said, It is was He who brought you into being from the earth and made you inhabit it. In another verse, Allah said, It is He who has made the earth manageable for you, travel its region, eat His provision, and to Him you will be resurrected. Allah Most High also said, then when the prayer ends, disperse in the land and seeks Allah, Allah's bounties. When the prayers end, disperse in the land and seeks our Allah's bounties. Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often that you may prosper. Thus, as work is very important, the command to work comes immediately after the prayer. It is reported from Iraq ibn Malik that whatever he prayed, Jum'a prayer, he used to stand at the mosque door and say, O oh Allah, O oh Allah, I have answered your command and performed the obligation of Jum'a prayer and now I'm about to go in the land as you commanded. So bless me with a provision from your grace as you are the best provider. The sunnah of our Prophet sallallahu is rich with a statement calling for work and diligence as a work is a way to preserve one's honor. The Prophet peace be upon him said, the best type earning is a man's work with hand and every business transaction which is lawful he, peace be upon him, also said, It's better for everyone of you to carry a bundle of wood on his back and sells it than to beg to someone whether he gives him or refuses. Or refuses. Once Imam Sufyan al Thawri passed by a group of people sitting in the holy mosque, he said, why do you sit here? They replied, What should we do? He replied, Seek provision from the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not and do not live dependent on other Muslims. Umar ibn Khattab also said, Let uh, let not one of you refrain from working for his provision, supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide. For you know that the sky does not rain gold or silver. Given the value and significance, significance of working all messenger, all messengers of Allah, please peace and blessing be upon them all used to work. So all messengers of Allah, peace and blessing be upon all of them, used to work. The Prophet, peace be upon him said prophet david used to eat from what he had worked for with his hands and said zechariah peace be upon him was a carpenter and the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
was used to work and serve his family. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said he used to mend his sandals and sew his garment. Even at the time of his death, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was keen to call us for work. Saying, if the final hour comes, if the final hour comes, while you have a shoe to plant in your hands, and it's possible to plant it before the hour comes, you should plant it. One of the manifestations of the honor of working in Islam, that the Islamic Sharia give the one who work to get livelihood for himself, and his children the same reward as a martyr as the almighty allah said some of you traveling th through the land seeking allah's bounty some of you fighting in allah's way once a man passed by the prophet وسلم, peace be upon him and his companions when the companions saw he is so active they admired it and said, had this been for the sake of Allah? The Prophet, peace be upon him, commented saying, if he is working to provide for his young children, then his working is for the sake of Allah. If he is working to provide for his old parents, then he is working for the sake of Allah. If he is working to get lawful earnings, then he is working for the sake of Allah. And if he's working to provide for his family, then he's working for the sake of Allah. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his companion, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Islam does not call a boon just to simply work, but rather, to perfect our work. The Almighty, the Almighty Allah has promised a great reward for those who perfect their work, saying, as for those who believe and do good deeds, we don't let the reward of anyone who does good deeds go to waste. Also the Prophet, peace be upon him, said Allah loves someone who when works, he performs in its perfect manner. Work is responsibility for every worker and official. Therefore, they have to be mindful to, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all said, Allah is always watching over you. Allah said, in whatever matter you be engaged and whatever matter and whatever matter you, be, you may be engaged, or whatever part of the Quran you are reciting, whatever work you are doing, we witness you when you are engaged in, in it. Not even the weight of a, spur, of a speak of dust. Not, uh, not even a weight of a speak of dust. In the earth or sky escapes your Lord, nor anything lesser or greater. It is all written in a clear record. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked, what is Al-Ihsan? They said perfection. He also said, Ihsan is to worship Allah as you see him. If you, don't, if you do not see him, Allah sees you. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the good deeds and to protect Egypt and all countries of the whole world from all evil. Thank you.